Have you ever heard the term heat conduction? It's basically how heat travels from one object to another. For example, when you touch something made of metal, it feels cold, right? Know why? This is because metals are good heat conductors, causing the heat from your finger to be sucked out. Different materials have varying abilities to conduct heat. Materials that conduct heat poorly, like wood and styrofoam, are often called insulators. However, materials that conduct heat well, like metals, are called conductors. In the experiment, the metal spoon had a more melted butter on it compared to the other two. This is because of the metallic bonds that are made from a lattice of ions in a cloud of free electrons. These free electrons are responsible for the ability of metals to conduct especially well. Convection currents form because a heated fluid expands, becoming less dense. The less dense heated fluid rises away from the heat source. As it rises, it pulls cooler fluid down to replace it. This fluid in turn is heated, rises, and pulls down more cool fluid. This cycle establishes a circular current that stops only when heat is evenly distributed throughout the fluid. The experiment makes use of colored liquids of different temperatures, pink for hot water and green for cold water. When the bottle of warm water is placed on top of the cold water, the more dense cold water stays in the bottom bottle and the less dense warm water is confined to the top bottle. Both conduction and convection require a medium to transfer heat. However, radiation is a method of heat transfer that does not rely upon any contact between source and object. The heat transfer is through electromagnetic waves. In the experiment, the fog was formed in the hot water condition because of the radiation cooling, which is a process by which a body loses heat by thermal radiation. A layer of warm, moist air forms by the hot water source, and the layer of cooler dry air forms above it, due to the ice above. As the water cools down in achieving thermal equilibrium via radiation, the warm moist air is cooled quickly. As the air temperature lowers, the fog starts to manifest as the small droplets of water condense. This doesn't occur in the cold water condition, because the effects of radiation cooling are insignificant.